if you have a lot of data and you want to have a control over what um, area you want to print and so forth, you can use the pre page break view. So you can see that uh, over here, there's the pre page break preview. So if I were to click it, you get to the page break view right here. So you can see that uh, um, uh, beside, behind the watermark, you see page one and two just listed out right, right there. So due to this, you know that this is going to be page, uh, printed out in page one and this in page 10. You can also readjust this column by clicking on the blue line and you can see what data will be printed right out in page one and page 10. So now you can see this is how it shows up. Let's say I just want to print this data right here. So I'm going to go into page layout and then I'm going to set a print area right here. So this is going to be in page one, page two and page three respectively. Let's say I want more data. So I'm just going to drag it across just like this. And I just want a bit of data in page three and this in, in, in page two. So if I were to uh, go to print preview by pressing control F2, you'll be able to see that this is page one, this is page two and page three respectively. So you'll be able to set pr the printing settings right here and then print, it, print them out respectively. So that is how you can use the page break view inside of Microsoft Excel. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.